The officials are set. The players are set. Ray Ferraro between the benches is set. I'm James Cebulski. Let's go. Well, here we go. The puck is dropped on period number three. You know you love to hear Ray Ferraro's takes, and he is between ice level with his assessment of the first two periods. Seattle's fortunes in this game are going to rely almost entirely on whether they can get more pucks to the net. But the fact that they're even in touch with this game is a bit of a surprise. They've really not generated much at all. Montembeau got the puck, and he'll hang on for the whistle. Well, in a close game, you've got to be in control of things, and he's had an excellent night so far. Lots of time left in this period. The Canadians are clinging to a 2-1 lead. Montreal's got it in the defensive zone. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Caulfield stick handling in his own zone. The Kraken have taken possession in their own end. And he takes the pass. And now he moves it quickly to Schwartz. Can't make it work. He got all of that one. Romanov's got it in the offensive end. Long reach breaks up the momentum. The Kraken have taken over in the neutral zone. Quick pass to Dvorak. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Goaltender covers up and will get a faceoff. Larson's used to contributing offensively. This pointless streak is not something that you usually see from him. Center's gliding up to the faceoff dots here. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Stranger's going to hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James. He needed a cover there. Strong's won the draw here in the offensive zone. And that's blocked from someone in front. Delayed penalty coming up here. That's a mistake. Whistle blows, stopping the play. Well, the first job's going to be to kill this penalty off, James, but maybe they take a chance down a goal to see if they can get a shorty. Guys, we know teams hate taking penalties in here, but if you're going to take one, you might as well have the top 10 penalty kill in the league. When these guys get confident, they can shut anybody down. Let's see what happens here. Oh, a clutch save! An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. Looking to break out here on the power play. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. Centering feed! And he elects not to shoot and will hang on to the puck. Now he's only one goal away, James, from his next milestone here. And he regains control of the puck. Gets it out of his own end. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Moves it to Goodrow. From the right side and up the middle. Good heads-up defensive play as he extends the stick. Back to the point it goes. Big time stop. Here we go. They've really ratcheted up the intensity here now in the Ozone. Quick pass across to Radish. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. Radish is into the offensive zone now on the attack. Carlo's ready to join the play. Seattle's penalty killers get their man out of the box. Well, if they were going to stay in the game, they had to kill that off. You cannot lose touch with the score here. Playing big at the moment there. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Feeds it over to Schwartz. Puts it on net. Denies him with the pad. Save made by the goalie. Nice work in there after the first stop. He's got to find the puck to save the second. Montreal's got it along the wall. Here's a short pass to Strome. And that's stopped by the goaltender using his head this time. Ah, that's got to hurt. I don't care how much equipment you have or how good the mask is. That thing's coming 80-plus miles an hour. That's got to hurt. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. Montreal's up 2-1, and the crowd has been enjoying this one. They go on the attack to center. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. 
Centers are lined up, and we are ready to resume. And gets a little boost to come up with the puck from off the wing with both centers tied up. Gets the puck in deep. The Kraken have the puck against the boards. And now he angles it across to Yarncroft. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. Scrum along the wall. Tries to feed it across. Montreal's got a hold of the puck. Seattle's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Blocked by Montembeau. There's back-to-back -back saves. Oh, he's on it there. Both saves are really good ones. Slides the puck over to Hathaway. A chance in front. Trangers on top of that for the whistle. Pretty quickly on top of it to kill the play. The Predators are on the save the date calendar next for these guys. Yeah, fans of both teams will really look forward to that matchup. It's generally a pretty aggressive game. Never an off night in this league. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Hathaway. The Kraken have gained control of the puck in their own zone. Dumps the puck in. The Canadians have it behind the cage. Pass back to the point. Here he is, shot right in front. Oh, and serves up a little too sweet with that save. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Poked away at center by Hathaway. Seattle's on the attack. Montreal's got the puck along the boards. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Across the line from center. O'Connor's got it along the wing. Scores! And that's three unanswered goals on their part. Wow! Once you get one, you feel a little bit of a momentum come to your team. Now you got a couple and then a third. You feel like you're just going to carry this game and walk away with it. More than half the period has expired. The Canadians now lead by two. Montreal's won the draw. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Sends the pass in front. A blast. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Trigger. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. Fires it on net. And there it is. Stopped by Montembeau. Malcolm Bowen's been sharp when he's had to be. He's got a good save percentage here tonight, and his team's in good shape. Larson's lugging the puck. Tries to get it to Everly. Getting a little physical there with that collision. Takes a shot, and he rings the post. Seattle's starting to generate some better chances. Here, this shot hits the goalpost, but James, it doesn't bounce for them. They still trail in the game. From one point man to another. Puck exits the zone. The Canadians have it now. Feeds the puck to Petrie. And that pass doesn't go. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. Stroms across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Quick feed to Kiki. Takes it to the front. Great save from in tight. I like the way he tracks the puck here. He's got to find it, and then he gets his body right in front of it. That's a good save. Moves it quickly over to Petrie. And he gets a piece of that one and denies it. And that's broken up. Dvorak's gliding the puck along the line. Gives him nothing in front. That's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Strom's carrying it ahead. The Kraken have the puck in their own end. With possession along the wall. Seattle's emptied the net. The extra scores! Oh, what a one-timer to bury it! The Kraken have answered back with a big one here in the third. Important to get within one. A lot of times you're sitting on the bench, you look up at the clock, and you can't believe ten minutes have melted away. Seattle's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Moves around along the half wall. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Great A chance right in the middle of the ice, and the goaltender makes the stop. The net is empty. A big draw here, looming inside the offensive end. 
Kudros gained possession, and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Tape to tape feed on the blue line. Shot in front. He scores. There it is. The rookie with his first NHL goal. You can just see the excitement in his face and his teammates as they realize he's got his first. Before a puck drop, another thought on what we just saw from the rookie. He'll never forget it. You dream about this goal so many times, and now you've got it. Forbes won the draw. Takes the pass. The Kraken had the puck in the open ice. Fires it. Gets a glove on it to make the save. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. Seattle's won the draw. There's the horn, meaning one thing. We've got overtime, and it's coming up in just a sec. A lot of different choices on social media as to who'll be the hero here in overtime. Let's find out who's got the game on their stick. Here we go. Overtime is officially underway. The Canadians will play it in their own end. Moves it to the middle. in the game right now but you know this team's feeling confident they've got one of the best pks in the entire league let's see what happens here and see if they can keep them in the game sacrifices the body to block that in front stop that one and the puck leaves the zone tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now and it's a quick pass to devora coming to the slot a chance for the win the Kraken have gained control of the puck shorthanded. And they get that puck down the ice. Picks up the puck. Looking to end it. And he denies him with a monstrous save here in overtime. Gains the zone along the right wall. Shot. Stones him in front. I think through traffic like that, you're just hoping the thing hits you. Oh, it's such a great moment. And now that there's a stoppage, he can revel in the fact that he scored his first National Hockey League goal earlier in the game. And you know his phone will be blowing up with text messages from friends later tonight. The Kraken have possession shorthanded. Quick pass to Larson. Chance to win it. Oh, we are still tied. What a stop. Sends it to the middle. What a chance, but they can't connect. And they move the puck out of harm's way. The Canadians can't take advantage of the overtime power play. Well, that feels like an escape. The penalty killing does the job in overtime. Kill off the power play. Centers glide into the dots. We're ready to get things back going again. Puck is dropped and play resumes. The Canadians carry it along the wall. Seattle's got the puck. And they continue to apply pressure here. And now it's over to Everly. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Montreal's got the puck along the wall. Moves into the slot. Pass broken up. The Canadians take it along the wall. He says, let's get physical on that play. From one end of the blue line to the other. Puck scooped up by Suzuki. Here's a chance! And puts it just wide! The goalie was late reacting. If that puck hits the net, I think it's in. And I think he's seen enough because he stops the play covering up the puck. Oh, guys are going to be bent over trying to gasp for breath. 
they'll be in favor of that move. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Carlos moving the puck through his own zone. McCann's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Here's a chance. Turned aside by the goaltender. Sucker's picking up steam. Sudden death and under 60 seconds to go here. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. He's got the game on his stick. Oh, the puck was like an anchor for the forward. He's got a breakaway, but he gets caught from behind. Quick shot. Seattle's got the puck inside the defensive zone. And now he tries to get it across to McCann. The Kraken have control of the puck. Stranger's going to slow things down and up for the whistle. Well, you got to kill the play eventually. That way everyone can get reorganized. A lot on the line here at this offensive zone faceoff. Dvorak's won the draw. Stop by the goaltender. The goalie reads his play really well. He gets out aggressively to make the save. That's a low slot shot. It happens quick, but he's in the right spot to make that save. Denies him in close. That's a really good save. I think the goalie's probably surprised he was dead center and open to shoot that puck. There's the horn. That means we're off to a skills competition. The shootout is on deck. Well, nothing's settled in the overtime frame, so we go to the shootout. Everly's up first for the shootout. Gives them absolutely nothing. I think the goalies that are best at this are the ones that are the most efficient. They don't move a whole lot. They just really play their position solidly. He's dialed in on that one. So quick across the net. Doesn't matter if you deke or shoot on him. He's really good at this. Advantage goalie on that. Now, there's no dice. I, I got a good view of it. There's just nowhere to shoot the puck. Caulfield's made his way to center ice. Still no goals scored so far in this shootout. Let's see if that trend changes now. This has been all goalies so far here in this shootout. Makes the save. Focused in on the puck, gets himself in the center of it, makes an easy stop. Well, they're already up here, and they could win it with a goal right now. Puts it home for the shootout winner. 